Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you our cloth diapering setup. Cloth diapering is not something that I ever imagined that I would get into. I always pictured it would be way more difficult and messy than it is. We did disposable diapers all the way through until potty training for our first and for our second we did disposables up until six months but with our second he had a diaper rash basically from the moment he was born until i figured out that it was the disposable diapers that was causing him so many issues we were able to find only two disposable brands that did not give him diaper rash and at the time that was costing us around hundred dollars a month for those diapers which was not doable within our budget so thankfully, all of this came up around tax return season. And so we invested a bit of our tax return into our cloth diaper setup. And that has saved us quite a bit and has been very successful for us so far. So if you haven't looked into the world of cloth diapering before, it is a deep rabbit hole. And I did not know that until I started researching to find out what we wanted to do for our setup. You have what are called all-in-ones, which is basically the closest to disposable, where it's like the, the liner and the absorbency is all connected, and you just take that off, throw it in the wash, and put the next one on, just like a disposable. Those are the most expensive, since you need quite a few of them to get through a couple days worth of wear before you wash them again. You also have like snap-ins and pocket diapers where you have the absorbency and it slides into a pocket. Those are the same kind of deal where once you're done with that diaper, you have to throw the whole thing in the wash. So I wanted to be a little bit more economical with our setup. So I ended up doing what are called pre-folds and covers. So these are Green Mountain Diaper pre-fold diapers. It's like the standard insert that you've seen probably your whole life. Um, and you just fold it into thirds and put it inside the diaper. So these are all stuffed already with those. You just take it right out once you're done and throw it in the wash. And then you're able to use the cover again as long as it doesn't have poop or it doesn't stink. So with this setup, I ended up getting eight covers initially. Um, I have three of these ones. One of them is dirty. These are called Baby Boo covers. And I liked these when our second was a little bit younger because they're a little bit smaller. They have a pocket on the front so you can tuck the diaper into there um, and you don't get leaks up the top. And these next ones are my absolute favorite. These are called Petite Crown Catchers. They fit from size 10 pounds to 45 pounds and I tested these on our toddler at the time when we first got them. He was just starting to be potty trained and they still fit him then. So I knew that these were gonna last us for the long run. These are just totally plain on the inside. They just have a waist snap and a leg snap. And you can literally put so much in there for absorbency. These ones also have a double leg gusset for blowout prevention. And I didn't think that that would be as necessary as it is, but it is because I tried a couple other covers that did not have that and it was no bueno. Cloth diaper covers will also have rise settings so you can adjust them for little itty bitty. You can snap them all the way down and have them little bitty for babies. Or you can open them all the way up for when they're growing. And then they're a lot bigger. When you do a cover setup, you can also get what are called flats, and it's just basically a, like a blanket size cloth that you can like origami fold into different things. I considered those, but I liked these better because they were so simple to just do the dry fold, put them in there, and be done. You don't have to sit there doing all the origami folds and taking up a lot of time. These wash super nicely. Um, every couple of months or so, they'll start to cause a little bit of irritation for his skin. And so I'll just lay them in the sun and that'll do the trick and they'll be great again. For our overnight solution, we also have Green Mountain Diaper Workhorses. These will wrap all the way around like a typical diaper. And this is just the absorbency. And then you put the cover over again so that it's waterproof. I love these because it has lots of layers, but it's also separated in this little flap. So it's a lot easier to wash, to, a lot easier to penetrate all the layers to get it clean and quicker to dry. We got ones that do not have the snaps. 
Some of them come with little snaps here that you can um, snap them shut. We ended up getting what are called snappies and they're, they have little hooks on the end and you just hook one side, hook the other, and then hook it on the bottom and that holds it in underneath the waterproof cover. We also add to this for extra absorbency, their hemp doublers. These are perfect. I tried one time without this and this whole thing ended up leaking. Otherwise, cloth diapers are like basically blowout proof. These are awesome. I've never had a poopy blowout. Um, aside from the time that I didn't put this doubler in overnight, I've never had a leak. These covers are the best. So for cleanup, I ended up getting a few different dry bags. I got a pack of three of these. This one goes in the diaper bag. I have one hanging up um, in our basement steps for dirty covers when they get dirty. And I have one hanging up in his room. And then I have a larger dry bag for the actual cloth that I just throw right in there for a pee diaper. For poops, we ended up getting a couple of sprayers that attach to your toilet. Also two little trash cans from Walmart. They're just little white trash cans. You were able to nestle them inside each other. My husband cut the bottom out of the inside one so that I can use that as a spray shield for when I'm spraying out the poop. And then I can just nestle it right in the other trash can once I'm done so I don't get poopy water everywhere. I thought that aspect of cloth diapering was going to be a lot worse than it is, but it's really not bad. So I've really been enjoying cloth diapering. I didn't think I would enjoy it as much as I am since we were kind of forced into it, um, but I really am. Plus, I mean, look how cute these are. These are the cutest prints. This one has blueberries all over it. I wanted to get some like semi gender neutral ones so that if we have any more babies and we end up having a girl, it'll still be appropriate for her. It's not all just blue. And Petite Crown has so many cute print options. So I think that's about it. I am a huge fan now of cloth diapering and maybe this will help push you over the edge into doing cloth diapering as well. I'll see you guys next time.